My name is Mike Osovich. I'm a 40-year resident and a 40-year uh, business person here in St. Clair. Uh, I have a lot of concerns about a lot of different things. Um, we don't even have time to get into all my concerns here tonight. But, you know, I just remember in looking at situations that we're dealing with now, I remember <laughs> as a young man, I was, uh, just to give you an example, uh, I had a car and had a bad tire on it. And I, every day, I'd have to put air, or every other day, I'd have to put air in that tire. And I just remember um, uh, doing that every day or two. And I remember my dad telling me at that point in time, um, get that tire fixed before it's, before you get stranded. Guess what? That tire blew out on a cold, rainy night. And regretfully, I knew I had to call dad. I was on Route 33 in Athens, Nelsonville, Ohio area. It's pouring down rain. And I remember my dad today, December today, saying, son, I remember him saying, bad judgment. Incompetency on your part does not constitute an emergency on my part. And I think he let me sit there for longer than he probably should have. Isn't that what we're really dealing with here today? It's like my worn tire. Why, why hasn't the water situation been monitored and dealt with before now the cur by the current administration? Deterioration, rust, pi rusty pipes don't happen overnight. <laughs> this did not happen overnight. That's my question. And in addition to that, why hasn't a class three operator been hired by the powers to be? We know we've we know we've needed one since March. Why hasn't it been done? Why the closed door meetings by both both uh, council and certain members? Here's my take. In my opinion, I see the city millions of dollars in debt and the aqua sale being a bill out a bailout for the current administration. And and along with other residents that I've had the pleasure to speak with, I believe that the mayor, Mr. Zupa, and some of the council members before me thought that they had that the aqua was uh, was in the bag, and the residents of this fine community would just fall victim to it all. That's why an operator wasn't hired, in my opinion. Would it be aqua's problem? Maybe. Now, because of the lack of proper execution here, we're facing staggering fines by the EPA up to $100,000 a day. until we employ one. It's very obvious that the mayor and Mr. Zuckel have been caught with their pants down, and we the residents are expected to pay the price once again. As a resident and businessman, like many others here, I'm appalled and embarrassed by the current administration and many of the council members. It's our water. We need to keep it our water. And if we don't do something pretty soon, my concern is, is the sign on the east end of town that says City of St. Clairsville, is eventually going to save Village of St. Clairsville. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's my concern.